So the Weston HDX truck rack is gonna be a very affordable modular way to get a commercial grade truck rack on the back of your 04 to 18 F-150. This is an excellent option if you're looking for something that's relatively lightweight and not too bulky, but still has a pretty high weight rating. This thing actually has a 700 pound weight rating, and a couple of things that I like about it is the fact that you got this overhead rack section up there that actually goes over the cab of the truck itself. A couple other cool things to point out here, you got a really nice black powder coat finish on this thing, you got some really heavy duty truck bed rails that actually secure the roof rack to the bed itself, and there's actually a couple of different ways you can bolt this thing to your truck. You can either do so permanently, we decided to do that by drilling some holes through these guys and mounting those with some bolts and nuts, but Weston actually offers a bracket system that is removable, so if you don't want to drill into your truck bed, you don't have to. Now besides that black powder coat finish, I mentioned that this is a modular system, and there are some pretty cool ways you can go about modifying this actually while on the truck. That center support beam is adjustable front and back, so if you need to make any adjustments to accommodate any larger equipment, you can do so. And if you got any really big, crazy stuff you want to throw in the back of the truck bed that's really high up, maybe something like a door that you're installing or windows, you can actually remove that rear beam back there so you get much bigger access in there if you want to throw any large boxes or anything back there as well. Now that technically makes this a bolt-on install if you want to do so. However, it can be a little bit of a trick getting the system up on top of the truck bed itself, so it's helpful to have a friend with you. And for that reason, I'm gonna give the install relatively modest two out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. It shouldn't take you more than an hour or two. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, obviously we are not working on an F-150. This thing is a little bit bigger, and well, that's because it's actually an F-250. This actually happens to be one of our behind the scenes trucks here. We're actually gonna put this thing to good use. We're very excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to get the install done. I'll walk you through every install step and I'll show you exactly what tools you need. To install a roof rack, you're gonna need a standard drive ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, a 16 millimeter socket, a 5/32ths Allen key, and a 17 millimeter wrench. Optional but helpful tools include a 19 millimeter socket and wrench, a 7/32ths drill bit, a half inch drill bit, a cordless drill, safety glasses, and an impact gun. All right guys, so with a system this big, the best way to go about actually installing it is to piece it all together. So you can see here, we actually got it set up based off of that blown out diagram that you might have seen in the instructions. And the instructions might tell you to do this one way and that's securing all the fasteners piece by piece. But honestly, it's easier to have the entire rack system together. That way you can have it all standing and you can actually see where everything is supposed to go. So we're gonna work our way front to back, fitting all these tubes together until everything is together as one piece. Then we'll start installing all of our hardware. All right, now we have the roof rack assembled. Technically, it's gonna be a lot easier to install all of our hardware and we can make sure the entire system remains squared up. Now we can install these plates here. These are support plates that secure the front and the middle sections together. And in order to secure these, you're gonna need the long and small M6 bolts in the kit with the appropriate nylock nuts and two flat washers. Now to secure all this down, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter deep socket and a 5/30 seconds Allen key.
All right, now that we have the support plates in place, we can install our short hex bolts into the middle tubes and the front support tubes. You're gonna need one on either side for these threaded holes. You're also gonna need the appropriate crush washers and flat washers, and you'll need a 16 millimeter socket to tighten these down. All right, now we're going to install these D-ring clips into the rear support bar. All right, now we're going to install our middle adjustable support bar here. In order to install this guy, you're going to grab the carriage bolts and the wing nuts provided in the kit. These are wing nuts because you can actually slide this thing back and forth, so it's easy to tighten and loosen it to accommodate any size ladders or other loads you're throwing on top of the rack itself. All right, with the middle support bar in place, go ahead and throw one of your short bolts in here. Again, you'll need that 16 millimeter socket to tighten this down. All right, now we're gonna throw our legs onto the rack itself. We're gonna put all four in place. Then we're actually gonna tighten the legs to the rack using those same short 16 millimeter head bolts. You can see there's shredded holes inside the legs here. So make sure they line up with the holes inside these posts. All right, with the first two legs installed, we're gonna hand thread these bolts in. That way they're gonna stay in place as we put the other two in. All right, so our entire roof rack is now together as one piece and it's looking pretty good. So I think we're ready to throw it on our truck bed. But before we do that, we're gonna actually throw the bed rail attachments onto the bed rails themselves. We're not gonna tighten them down just yet though. We're gonna get them roughly lined up. Then you're gonna grab a case of beer and some friends and throw the roof rack system on top of the bed rails. We're gonna secure the roof rack to the bed rails and then we can slide it back and forth as one assembly. Once we're happy with where it's sitting, we can start drilling some holes in the bed and then we'll figure out where we're gonna permanently affix it.
All right, so once you got your roof rack in place with the help of your friends, you can actually secure it to the bed rails that you just threw on a minute ago. In order to secure the roof rack to the bed rail frames, you're going to need to grab your remaining large hex head bolts, and you're also going to grab these little brackets right here. You're also going to grab the remaining button head bolts. It's a little bit easier to show you guys than explain it, so just go ahead and watch and learn. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty straightforward getting this secured with these little brackets here. But as you saw, the legs do have a little bit of play of them, and that's normal, that's natural. But you don't want to tighten this stuff down just yet with your power tools or your ratchets. Let's go ahead and get all four of these guys secured. That way we can make sure the entire frame is squared up, and then we'll tighten everything down with the appropriate tools. All right, so once you got all your hardware hand tightened, go ahead and do a once over of the entire roof rack. Make sure everything is still squared up and you're happy with where it's sitting. Then you can tighten everything down with your ratchets or your power tools. There's a specific way you want to go about tightening each of these that's going to make sure everything remains squared up and rock solid so there's no play inside of these posts here. The first thing you want to do is tighten down the bolts and nuts on the posts themselves. You're going to need a 16mm socket and a 17mm wrench to do so. Then once you got that tightened down, you want to tighten down the bolts and nuts on the bottom of this bracket here. Again, 16 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter wrench. And you want to pull this bracket out far enough that there's just the tiniest little bit of flex inside of here. That way, when you go to tighten down the button head bolt, it's going to bend this bracket just the tiniest bit. And that's what's going to give you that tension and keep these posts nice and tight.
All right, so we made some final adjustments to where the roof rack is sitting on the bed rail itself. We made sure both of the center holes over here cleared the wheel well plastic, so now it's time for us to start drilling. Now they don't provide hardware to secure this permanently to the truck bed, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill a 7 seconds pilot hole, we're gonna work our way up to a half inch, and we're using M12 bolts and nuts with the appropriate flat washers. All right, now that we have all of our holes drilled, we're gonna secure our bed rails permanently here. Again, we're using M12 hardware, so in our case, we're using a 19 millimeter deep socket and a 19 millimeter wrench. All right, so once you got your bed rails secured, that'll wrap up the install. And that also wraps up my review of the Weston HDX overhead truck rack, fitting your 04 to 18 F-150. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.